over the last 10 years, uh, many farmers in our area, and I think this is throughout the United States, have come to realize uh, that we have had an impact upon the environment, no doubt. And they had the mighty Mississippi right n near us. Farmers are taking that very seriously and, and want to do something about it. And with the potential of uh, biotechnology and reducing pesticide amounts on the landscape and into the water systems is a, is a good thing for all of us. So in our way, we're addressing those problems that are critical to the society at large of clean air and clean water. And, and I like knowing that, and I want to be part of that. I don't want to fish in a polluted stream. I don't think anybody else does. So we're going to make some headway there, and, and agriculture will be a driving force in cleaning up the country. There's a misperception out there about who's producing the food today, and, and uh, our, our farm is very typical of the type of farm that is producing the bulk of the food for the world, I believe. Uh, it is a family farm. My son farms, my brother farms with me. We're very careful about what we do in terms of safety, be it crop safety or, or safety in our own, you know, for ourselves. Through the advent of genetic modification of plants, which is allowing us to minimize our chemical use and so on, we've actually improved consumer safety tremendously. And, and I'm sure of this, there's not a case in the world where there's been any health problems associated with biotechnology. We no longer have to till the fields to control weeds, where we used to have to till two, three times uh, and, and use more diesel and, and, and jeopardize the soil to more erosion. Now we're through crop rotation and minimum till or no till most of our crop this spring will be seeded with one pass. It just has eliminated the number of trips over the field. At one point here about uh, two years ago, my wife came up and gave me a hug and says, you know, what is it? We farm even more acres than you used to, yet it seems like we have more free time and it's like we're more of a family and we have more time together. I said, you really want to know? It's biotech. And I just can't imagine sitting on my porch someday in my rocking chair telling my grandkids that I fought biotech. To me, it'll sound as absurd as saying, I fought Louis Pasteur or I fought Thomas Edison. My father lived through a very exciting time, but I really think that I'm probably going to live through a much more exciting time because we're starting to see this rapid change. We're looking at the crop growing at a faster rate, so this means that this is freeing up a lot of crop for the ethanols and for the uh, new plastics and all the new things that are coming. So I'm very glad that it's happening in a state like Iowa. Uh, you know, we like to say we are an energy state by what we grow. We're growing energy. But as far as around the world, I think it's an absolute necessity that a lot of places have got to be able to raise more food per acre. Most people in the world, and we have to remember we're a small part of the world, they have to worry about feeding their families and, and their future generation. I just don't think the old conventional way of farming is going to do it. We're going to have to continue to use biotech.